Gold top. Silver top. Tank top. Has the post come yet? No. Yes. Pass them up here. Oh, bills. 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 They're all bills. There's no one called Bill living here. That's true. Here. That's a funny one. Ignore it. It's a circular. Oh. And this one. Chain, Chain letter. letter. There's one for you here. Oh, that's what I've been waiting for. Is it? Yes. Oh. Yes! Yes! Fantastic! Fantastic! Yahoo! <laughs> what is it? I've won! I've won the competition! What competition? It was on the back of that cornflakes packet, and you had to be dead clever to win it. And out of all the people in the whole wide world, I've got it right! What did you have to do? Oh, it wasn't easy. You had to name 17 different fruits. And what did you say? An orange, an apple, and a bunch of bananas. Very good. Now, let's see. What's the prize? What's the prize? The first prize in our competition is to spend a day in a country mansion, complete with butler and anything your heart desires. Your chance to be lords of the manor. Rich for a day. This is it. Bedside manor. Now listen, Barry, this is my one chance in life to be rich, so I don't want you to let me down. I won't. Good. Don't go showing me up. I won't. I want you to behave. I won't. Eh? I will, I will. Now remember, Barry, we're rich. So act rich, look rich, and feel rich. How do I do that? Oh, they're a breed apart, the rich. Are they? They stand out like a diamond in a clod of earth. Yeah, you can tell them at a glance. Stiff upper lip, noble brow, chin out, gritted teeth. Ah! Don't do that. Well, if they all look like that, I'd rather be poor. Now, I'm warning you, Barry, don't let me down. Now, ring the doorbell. You rang? We're still ringing. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, well, you see, the thing is, we sort... Well, sort of... I won uh, this uh, sort of competition, you see. Um, uh... Crossly, sir. Oh, I see. Now, look here, you. We won this competition, and we're here... No, no sir. My name is Crossley. Yes, of course. I knew that, yes. Well, we won this competition, you see, and we're here to be... rich for a day. Honoured, sir. This way, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Oh, look at this. We're rich. Richer than you could ever imagine. Well, richer than I could imagine. Just think, tonight I'll be sleeping in a four-poster bed. So what's clever about that then? I've got a four-poster bed at home. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. I've got a poster of Rotherham United on that wall, a poster of Danny Minogue on that wall, and a poster Not of... that kind of poster. A four-poster bed. It's got wooden pillars at each corner, and a sort of a roof on the top. Then what happens? Well, you sleep in it. So what do you need the four wooden pillars and the roof for? Because it's posh. A shoe, sir. Bless you. A replacement shoe, sir, for the one you lost. But it's different to me other shoe. I can't go around wearing odd shoes. 
You're already wearing odd socks, sir. They're not. They're identical. Yes, sir. But they're very odd, just the same. Splendid place, Crossley. Just what we used to. Very impressive. Such a marvellous collection of... Uh, books. We like to think so, sir. Have you tried Kipling? No. Can't say I've ever kippled. Jungle Book. See, they're not books at all. They're just posh video covers. Oh, what a marvellous jug, Crossley. Actually, the correct name is Decanter, sir. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. What a marvellous jug, Decanter. I'll order some refreshments, gentlemen. Oh, ta very much. Oh, and by the way, no, no slacking. <laughs> hey, Barry, just think of all the rich people that have lived here over the years. They've got it all, the rich, you know. They've got the cars and the buses and the caravans and the furniture. Bet this is worth a bobber too. Let's see. To you. <laughs> to me. To you. <laughs> to me. To you. <laughs> to me. <laughs> that could be worth a fortune. You see, we might be rich today, but tomorrow we'd have to pay for that. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This could cost us thousands and thousands. Hey, there's some writing on here. What's it say? M-I-N-G. Ming, what does that mean? M-I-N-G? Yeah. Made in Newport, Gwent. Oh, that's all right then. Thank goodness for that. Must have been cheap. Mm. Tea is served in the drawing room, sirs. Just remember, act posh. Hi, T. Hi, Hi T. You see, I knew it'd all end in tears. <laughs> Sponge finger, sir. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Never mind, keep wearing the gloves. I'm sure it'll soon get better. I like the teapot. The whole tea service is the only one of its kind in the world, sir. Oh, not very popular, eh? It's worth thousands of pounds to a connoisseur, sir. Ignore him, Crossley. He's not used to the finer things in life. Mmm. Well, I like a square cake, Crossley. Actually, sir, the correct name is Battenberg. Oh, all right. I like this square cake, Battenberg. <laughs> Drink boss. Like this. Oh. Oh, a tissue, sir. Bless you. Splendid tea, Crossley. Right up to my usual high standards. Thank you, sir. I'm sure Cook will be delighted. Cook? Who's Cook? She's the woman who cooks, sir. You mean you call the woman who cooks Cook? Yes, sir. Does that mean you call the woman who cleans clean and the man who gardens garden? I'm not sure, sir. And if you're the butler, why aren't you called Buttle? Well, I don't know, sir. It's very confusing being rich, isn't it? Mm. No, sir. I mean, yes, sir. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure, sir. I'm, uh, <clears throat> if, uh, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen. He gets easily flustered, doesn't he? He does. Hmm. Rich for a day. Just a day. Just one day. That's all. Hey, what's the fastest cake in the world? I don't know. What is the fastest cake in the world? Scum! Oh, no, now you've done it. Oh. Is it all right? Yeah, it is fine. Not that. The picture. I bet that's worth thousands. Not really. Seventeen pounds twenty-three pence. Seventeen twenty-three? That'll be the year it was painted. Oh, if it's that old, it can't be worth much then, can it? All the same, you better make sure it's okay. 
Give it a nice clean. OK, then. Eh? Because you can't be too careful with art, you know. And I know all there is to know about art. There. Clean. Clean? It's gone. I know. It was a bit fiddly round the edges, but with a bit of elbow grease, I soon got it shifted. We're done for. There's only one thing for it. What do you think? It's very good. Of course, it's only a thumbnail sketch. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Ah, Crossley, my good man. Now, what can we do next? Croquet, sir? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. But what can we do next? Croquet, sir, is a game enjoyed by the upper classes. Yes, quite, quite. We knew that, yes. yes. But we don't fancy that at the moment, do we? No. We could do with something different. Yes. It's either croquet or shooting, sir. Croquet. Mm. One day. It's only one day. What a lovely piece of carved stone. Statue. Bless you. That cold must be catching. Paul, I don't know how to play croquet. Course you do. Course I don't. Course you do. Course I don't. You do. I don't. We played it at Auntie Maggie's party, remember? Of course I do. Of course you do. Croquet, sir, is a game played by gentlemen. I suppose you'll want me to explain what it's all about. Oh, no, 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 no. We know what it's all about. You do? Of course we do. You put your left foot in. Pardon? Your left foot out. In, in out, in, in out, out, and shake it all about. about. You, you do, do the okey cokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Oh, 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 oh okey cokey cokey. Oh, okey-cokey-cokey, oh, okey-cokey-cokey, that's what it's all about. I'm talking about the game of croquet. I assume you're familiar with the rules. Of course we are. You are? Just remind us. Well, first of all, you'll need some hoops. Oh. No. 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 I mean, yes, those. Too late. I've just eaten the last one. Not those. Those. These? Yes, those, those. Th them are those. Oh, why didn't you say so? This way, gentlemen. Hey, it's a good game, isn't it? Yeah. First, you place the hoops in the ground. Oh, there you are, Barry. And next, you'll need one of these. Oh, it's a hammer, Crossley. Actually, sir, the correct name is Mallet. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a hammer mallet. Any relation to Timmy Mallet? You know, famous children's entertainer and pop star? Never heard of him, sir. Good man, Crossley. Let's play. Right. Your turn, Barry. Just a minute. Right. Hope the... You're dangerous, you. Wait a minute. Right, now. Oh! That's why it's a wooden mallet. Why? So it wouldn't hurt much. Oh. This beautiful vase. This beautiful house. Right, your turn. Oh, just a minute. Isn't that Auntie Agnes back there? 
I can't see Auntie Agnes. Oh, my mistake. Carry on. shot to win the game, I think. Can you hold me that, please? Well, at least they can't cause any damage out there. I'll need a bit of force with this shot. It's a bit like golf, isn't it, Paul? Hmm. Catch it! <laughs> <laughs> it's rubbery. I've enjoyed it myself as well. <laughs> you vandals. I've had enough of this. One day, you said. Just one day. Well, one day's one day too many. What are you trying to say, Crossley? I want you to leave this place now, before I have you thrown out. You can't do that. We won our prize fair and square. There you are. First prize. Rich for a day. There's nothing you can do about it. The first prize in our competition is to spend a day in a country mansion. Rich for a day. See? And you have won our second prize. A felt pen. Blue! My favourite! All this? All this? And all you're owed is one felt pen! We were going anyway. I don't like your manner. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 